Hello Internet, Internet. Big Dave is here, and I am cheap. Sure. Hello Internet, it's Big Dave here, and this is another in my ongoing series covering free, independent games. This time around, we're taking a look at Don't Move by Steve Ritchie. Steve describes Don't Move as a game about ninjas, failure, ludonarrative dissonance, and player investment manipulation. I personally describe Don't Move as a game that will teach you an awful lot about yourself and how modern games manipulate you into playing them more. Now as you go into the game, it's already kind of told you that it's messing with you. So you sit here at this title screen and the first thing you think is, I'm just not going to do anything. Press left or right to start? Maybe not. Maybe I'll just sit here and it'll give me this great congratulations screen. But after a while, your natural human curiosity will force you to press left or right. And then it begins. It seems so innocent at first. There's that aforementioned ninja, and he's in a simple hallway with four candles. Now, again, remembering the name of the game, your first instinct is to simply stay put. Don't move. After a while, though, your human weakness once again takes over, and you are compelled to move. The move results in your death, but more is revealed about the nature of the game. Five attempts. I see an attempt counter for one. That lock is universal to any gamer, so let's keep trying to move. Well, what'll happen when we get five? Ah, a distance counter. Oh, and a distance unlock. Uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's see what happens. We're off to the races. Never able to reach the edge of the screen. Maybe we can stutter step? No. What if I run one way then the other? No. No. No? Well, what's going to happen when I get 500 distance? Let's find out. Hey, there we go. Now a timer. 163 seconds. Well, that's right around the corner, so let's go ahead and see what happens. Oh my god. Medals. Okay. Uh, medals for attempts, distance, time, and medals. Medals for medals? Okay. Well, uh, yeah, let's keep trying to move. Keep trying to figure out exactly what this game wants from us. Medals are racking up now at a pretty good pace. We should be at 15 in no time. Medals give way to levels. Levels give way to trophies. Trophies bring with them money. And now you're stuck in the loop. This is what Don't Move is as much as anything else. It's a commentary on the modern achievement loop, on the achievement grind, on that positive reinforcement, the joke, 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 that happens when you hit a level and unlock a weapon, or when you nail 25 headshots and get rewarded with an electronic badge of accomplishment. But as much as Don't Move is about how games manipulate the player, it's also about how we allow ourselves to be manipulated, how we feel good about our little achievements. And playing this game will teach you the sort of person that you are. Will you obsess? Will you get to the point that actually does exist where you can move off of this single screen. That's right. I have just caused some of you to waste upwards of 45 minutes of your life playing this game because I will absolutely confirm for you there is a point at which you can move off of this screen. Now, some of you already know that you're that guy and you're pretty happy with it, like I am. But the interesting thing about Don't Move is those of you out there who will play it and discover for the first time the degree to which you will let a game manipulate you into continuing to play it, even while truly accomplishing nothing. But who can really say that these things mean nothing? You get a little something out of them, an endorphin boost, a little bit of self-affirmation, you feel better, you feel good. And 
you determine for you how much value that has. And that's the great thing about a game like Don't Move. It's a simple game that can help you to better understand yourself while also better understanding how people use who you are against you. Luckily, this little journey of self-discovery is free, but maybe you'll walk away from this game better informed the next time somebody asks you for 60 bucks to get on the achievement treadmill. This has been Don't Move by Steve Ritchie. Check the description below for all relevant links. I have been Big Dave, and until next time, take it easy. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. That's it, I'm done.